leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi, has claimed that the Enforcement Directorate was planning to raid him following his Chakraview speech during the discussion on the union budget. The Congress leader said he would be waiting for the central probe agencies with open arms as ED insiders told him that a raid was being planned. Mr. Gandhi claimed that there are six people, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah, at the centre of this chakra view in a speech that he gave inside the parliament. Mr. Gandhi also alleged that political executive, central agencies and the idea of monopoly, monopoly capital allowing two people to own the country's entire wealth are at the heart of this chakra view. Now, remember, this is not the first time that opposition has alleged that ED and CBI are being misused. Remember, Jharkhand Chief Minister Himan Sorin, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal have also levelled similar allegations against the centre that central agencies are being misused by the centre and opposition claims that this is an attempt by the centre to muzzle the voices of dissent and to topple the governments in opposition rule states. Now, this uh, controversy is raging after Rahul Gandhi made uh, fresh allegations. Uh, we are also being told that we are being joined by Mr. Guru Prakash, uh, BJP spokesperson on this whole controversy. Mr. Guru Prakash, uh, very good morning and thank you for speaking to NDTV. Fresh allegations have been made by Congress leader and leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi. He says that the ED is now planning to raid him. No, we have to understand that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is already out on a bail. His mother Sonia Gandhi is already out on a bail. So this uh, case hasn't come up today. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is trying to make uh, an issue out of it when actually there is no issue at all. National Herald's scheme is, uh, is under an investigation. Thousands of crores are under question. So Mr. Rahul Gandhi is not above the law. Or I think Congress party should do one thing. It should come out with a press release or a notification and say that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is above the law and say that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is above the Constitution of India. But that is not the case. We are all living under the Constitution of India. The rule is applicable for everyone. Everyone is equal in the eyes of law, be it Mr. Rahul Gandhi or Madam Sonia Gandhi. So the law will take its own course. If investigation is required, it's required. Why are you making an issue out of a mountain, out of a mole? Well, I, this is clearly beyond my comprehension. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is just trying to sensationalize the entire thing because we are very well aware of the fact, the people of India are very well aware of the fact that there is an ongoing investigation. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is out on bail. If there is some investigation happening, it's just a part of process. It's just a part of judicial process. Why uh, so much hangama and halla bolo over it? This, this we don't understand. Well, there is a halla bolo over it because... Uh as your reaction also hints on that there is a likely chance that a raid can take place against Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. But Mr. Rahul Gandhi is saying that this is because some people did not like his Chakraview speech. He's, because he made a personal attack on the Prime Minister and now he is being targeted for it. No, Aditi, that is not the point. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is already undergoing a process of ongoing investigation. It is not as if a new investigation will take place and law has its own course. If tomorrow there is a hearing, if day after tomorrow there is an investigation, if uh, three days uh, ago there is a cross-examination, you are already under a scanner. So this uh, is just uh, beyond our comprehension. And as far as the central agencies are concerned, let me make this very categorical. 2013, Supreme Court of India has said that CBI is a caged parrot, Justice R. M. Doda. So this... Uh, accusation or this allegation of misuse of agencies, it's a spent force and doesn't hold any water anymore. And as far as the speech of Mr. Rahul Gandhi is concerned, it was a very usual speech, nothing uh, new in his speech, old wine in an old bottle. So Mr. Rahul Gandhi is just trying to make a big issue, a big controversy out of it. And uh, I, uh, we actually don't see any logic, any sense or any structure to his arguments or this fear mongering, honestly. Right. Uh, well, that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Guru Prakash, for uh, speaking to us and clarifying. The, well, the BJP says that uh, law will take its own course and uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is facing charges in the National Herald case. So, if a likely ED rate take, takes place, then this is as per the law. Meanwhile, my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhu is also joining me for more details. Sunil, uh, the Congress leader says that ED is likely to raid him. The BJP has just now said that, that if, if that happens, then it will be the law that will take its own course as he is facing allegations and a case is opened against him. That's right. Uh, as they rightly pointed out, uh, the law is uh, you know, taking its own course. Uh, the only difference is that uh, uh, the opposition has been saying that this is political vendetta. 
uh, this needless targeting and the fact that uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, who's preempted uh, the uh, enforcement directorate by saying that I have been told by insiders that there will be a raid, please come have uh, tea and uh, 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 biscuits with me. Uh, it's in that backdrop uh, that we'll have to wait and see uh, because uh, uh, now uh, a lot of water has flown under the bridge. Rahul Gandhi is uh, holding a constitutional post. He's the leader of the opposition uh, in the uh, Lok Sabha, which has a cabinet rank status. The fact that uh, you are going to target an, an opposition leader uh, is going to definitely, even though this is an old case, will definitely have huge repercussions nationally, internationally, of being targeted uh, by uh, law enforcement agencies, uh, whatever uh, the circumstances may be. So it's definitely uh, not going to be easy. It's going to be extremely uh, difficult in the days ahead uh, when the enforcement directorate uh, does plan uh, that investigation uh, that they are uh, 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 and that uh, visit to Rahul Gandhi's residence uh, whenever that happens.